guys and welcome back to the Captain Popman channel once again. Anybody that's new here, anybody that this is the first time they're watching these videos, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button and show this figure collector some love guys, really, really appreciate it. Today, another Marvel legend on the scene, so I think this is the fourth one, number four, fourth one we're opening today. Uh, and this is actually going to be the Ant-Man from the Ant-Man, like it says Ant-Man and the Wasp on the front. But it's actually, if I remember correctly, from the Avengers Infinity War Wave, Wave 2, if I'm not mistaken, Wave 2. Yeah, really, really excited for this one, guys. Ant-Man's a character that I absolutely love. I don't know if you guys are the same, but before the movies were released, I'd not really heard much of him. I knew, if he, knew who he was, but I wasn't so, you know, so sure of the character. But obviously, when it was announced that Paul Rudd was going to play him, the first movie was released. Obviously, he's also in Captain America Civil War. Um, and then obviously in Ant-Man and the Wasp and Avengers Endgame as well. Absolutely love the character, absolutely love the actor that plays him. Really cool figure and definitely one that you've got to have for the MCU um, Marvel Legends. I personally don't collect the comic book Marvel Legends, I just collect the MCU Legends. So this is one that definitely is a must within the MCU Legends collection, absolutely. So as always, we're going to start off by looking at the box, guys. There you can see Ant-Man in the box. Now this one is actually part of the Thanos Builder Figure Wave. You guys are going to have to clear something up for me. Now, as far as I'm aware, in America, these same sets of figures, so Ant-Man, the Wasp, Iron Man, Spider-Man, uh, Captain America, Thor, all the ones that are in this wave, in America, as far as I'm aware, are actually part of the Cult Obsidian wave. Whereas in the UK, they're actually part of the Thanos Builder figure wave. Now, I don't know why that is. I don't know if I'm, you know, getting two different waves mixed up. I don't think I am. But any bit of research that I've done on it, all I can find in America is that this figure is actually released with the Cult Obsidian Builder figure. And like I say, here in the UK, it's released with Thanos. Don't know why. Don't ask me why. If any of you guys do know why, leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know. I don't know whether it was a different American release. And like I say, it was different over here in the UK. I'm not sure. But yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there. And if anyone knows the answer, leave some comments in the comments down below. So yeah, Ant-Man from Ant-Man and the Wasp Avengers Infinity War Thanos Builder Figure Wave. There we can see him on the front in the box, guys. The side, oh, as always, we've got some really, really cool artwork down the side. Really like that. The red glow behind him looks really, really cool. And then obviously you've got the back as well with the range of other figures in the wave as well as the Thanos Builder figure. Now, I'll just give you a close look at that. So obviously you've got Thanos. And in the wave, guys, you've got Iron Man, Captain America, Iron Spider, Scarlet Witch, sorry, Black Widow. Uh, Thor, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now the two I have out of this wave so far is Black Widow and Ant-Man. Definitely going to be getting the Wasp and I'm made by the rest of them as well guys just so I can actually get that Thanos Builder figure because unfortunately my Thanos, my SH figure arts, hand has snapped so oh god I could have cried. I could have cried honestly but yeah what, what can you say. Uh, so there is a bit of a blurb on the back as well about Ant-Man, I will read that to you. So that one states, Scott Lang suits up as Ant-Man with a specialised suit engineered by Pym Technologies that lets him blast into any battle, big or small. Big or small, guys. So yeah. So that's pretty much what we're looking at on the box. We've also got the Pym Particle uh, spot varnish on the very top as well. Do like that little feature as well. Looks really, really cool. So as always, guys, let's get the trusty knife and let's crack him open. So, very much like any of the other boxes that we do open here at the Marvel Legends, we're not going to damage the box because I do like to display them, as anybody who knows, who's watched my other videos already knows. So yeah, we do as best not to damage the box or anything like that. We'll crack him open. So yeah, quite excited for this one, to be honest with you. Uh, I think the head sculpt, which we'll look at closely in a minute, does actually quite look like Paul Rudd. So we'll have a quick look at that and see how that looks, get him out. Get him posed up and have a up close and personal look as well. So let's pull him out, get him open. That's a protective sleeve on there. So as you can see, that's him in the box, guys. Let's pop that open. And then like the other backings that you get with the Marvel Legends, you have got the Pin Particle logo. Again, really cool if you want to pose the action figure in front of this. Have this as a cool backdrop and take some photos that way. I personally don't take photos. but it is, I might start, to be fair, because it is a quite cool little backdrop. So yeah, you've got the Pin Particle one there. Let's shift that out of the way. Now first things first, we'll take out the Thanos bath leg. Out the Ant-Man skull. Actually, take Ant-Man out himself, and yeah, he looks sweet. 
He looks sweet as a nut. There, guys. Always have to do this. Get the boxes back in there. Make sure that's all right. And then we can take a close-up look at Ampa. So yeah, that's that bad boy back in there, which is cool. Now, yep, yeah, he looks sweet, guys. Really, really cool. He's a little bit stiff, a little bit small as well, actually, smaller than I thought he might be. I mean, smaller, I don't know, for a six inch figure, but he does still look pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm happy with him. Really like the details on the costume and the face sculpt out of the box looks even more like Paul Rudd. I mean, I thought it looked like him in the box, but out of the box, it looks even better. He looks really, really good. So there you can see Ant-Man up close and personal, guys. Just so you, I'll just get a close-up look so you can see that face sculpt a bit better. Uh, you can see that there. Yeah, he looks really, really cool. Really, really like that. that cheeky grin by Paul Run there looks really, really cool. Big fan of the texturing of the suit as well. That looks really, really good, guys. So if you can see there, there is kind of a, a bit of a texturing on the front of the suit. I know the, Ant -Man, the first Ant-Man that Hasbro released didn't have that texturing, so really, really good to see that on there. Really, really like that. The belt itself is loose as well, so you can move the belt. I do like that feature. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like him. I like him a lot. I think he's cool. I do like him. He's really, really good. Well, let's go through some uh, some articulation with you just so you can see how he moves and stuff. So, as always, with your Marvel Legends guys, the head is on a ball joint. Now, obviously, we can move side to side, left and right. Up, we're looking about that far and down. Yeah, his head does go quite down, to be honest with you, yeah? Um, have we got a bit of head wobble? Yeah, a little bit of head wobble as well. Arms, as always, guys, 360 degrees, so do like that. That arm is a little loose, so we do need to be quite careful on that. And then, as always, we get the double jointed elbows with every Marvel Legend, other than the females. But I know Hasbro have started to do that now, so that's really, really cool. Uh, you do get a bit of an ab crunch as well, so you can crunch that far forward and that far backwards. Thighs, do move that about that far, so you can kind of make him do the splits, but not really. Uh, there is a thigh cut on there as well, so we have got a thigh cut. And then we've got, as always, guys, double jointed knees, which looks really, really good. Like I say, should be able to get him in some really cool poses. Uh, no boot cut or anything like that, but then we do have uh, the ankle on a rocker, so it goes up and down, and then we've got some nice ankle pivot motion on there as well, so it looks really, really good, guys. Um, yeah, I like him. I think he looks really, really cool. Definitely a fan of this suit, um, as opposed to the one that they released from the first Ant-Man movie, I think it was, or maybe Captain America Civil War wave, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, compared to that, I really, really like him a lot. I think he looks really, really good. I'll try and move that belt up just a little bit to try and get that... Yeah, because there is a thigh. There is a thigh swivel as well, which is really cool. But I'm going to try and get that belt to cover that thigh swivel up, just so it kind of cuts out that. And then I'm also going to take off the Paul Rudd head sculpt and place on the Ant-Man mask as well. Now that looks good. That look, that is definitely good. Oh, I like that. That is sick. So I'll just give you another quick up close, up close look at him with the Ant-Man helmet on. Yeah, I much prefer him with the helmet on. Love the Paul Rudd head sculpt as well, but definitely I'll be posing him on my shelf, guys, with the with the helmet on. I think he looks really, really cool. Um, if you look at him from behind as well, again, you can't see this, obviously, when he's in the packaging, but I do really, really like that as well. I think the back of the suit looks really, really cool. Like these little features that you've got here and stuff like that. As far as I'm aware from what I've seen, I mean, I've not done an in-depth look as of yet. But I can't see any paint bleed issues or anything like that with him. Looks really qu quite clean on the back of the suit. As you can see, you know, no paint bleeding, any paint bleeding issues or anything like that. So overall, really, really happy with him, guys. I do like him quite a lot. Um, and me personally, I will be posing him with the Ant-Man helmet on. But we will do when we go to an up close and personal look. I will show him you with the helmet on and off. And you guys let me know in the comments what you prefer. Uh, but yeah, really, really like him. I think he looks really, really cool. Uh, got to get the Wasp now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Definitely got to get the Wasp and get these two guys posed next to each other. You know, you can't have Ant-Man without the Wasp. Got to have them posed together on the shelves looking really, really cool. So let's go to an up-close personal look, guys. We'll have a look at Ant-Man. We'll pose him next to a few other action figures head on. 
Uh, sorry, mask on and head on, uh, and we'll see what you guys think. So yeah, let's uh, let's take it to another shot. Sorry guys, before we do that, I did forget to show you the Thanos Builder figure piece, which from what I can see here is the left leg. So again, not really much to show you. I probably didn't actually need to show you this, but you know, just to be accurate and show you everything that actually comes in the box, I thought I would show you the Thanos Builder figure piece as well. So you can see that it does actually come with Thanos' left leg as well. Like I said earlier in the video, I, I am probably gonna try and get all the figures within that wave so we can build Thanos. Um, whether I do or not, I'm not sure. I mean, the Captain America from the wave isn't, I don't think really looks that good face sculpt wise, but I might do. I probably will do to be fair, just so I can build Thanos and it would be my first builder figure as well. So yeah, just thought I'd show you Thanos's leg. I know it is only a leg, but still, uh, just so you can see obviously the accessory that he comes with as well. And while we're doing that, I will actually show you the Paul Rudd face sculpt as well. It's a bit more up close, just so you can kind of see him. If you can get a hold, if you can see that, focus, focus, damn you, focus. Yeah, so you can kind of see that as well, guys, and how he looks. Like I said, I do think it really looks like him. But we'll have another look up close and personal at Ant-Man in a second, uh, and we'll show you all, show him yet in all his glory up close. So yeah, let's let's go look at him up close, guys. Okay, so we've got Ant-Man posed in a crouching position just for the up close and personal shot. Really, really like this figure. As I said, guys, definitely think, to me, he does actually look better with the helmet rather than without. Again, the Paul, Paul Rudd face sculpt is really, really cool, but I do prefer him with the, with the mask on, and that's exactly how I'll be posing him on my shelf. So let's just have a quick look. You can see that he's kind of got that. He has got a bit of marbling on the mask. I mean, nothing too major. Those three lines at the very top did concern me at first, but when I had a look, actually, every single one, every single figure that I've seen, Ant-Man figure that I've seen, um, you know, that matches this mold comes with those three lines. So nothing to worry about too bad there. Would have been nice, actually, if we'd have got a see-through, like the, the eye bits were see-through, so we could actually see his eyes. I know the Wasp um, that comes from the same wave actually has that feature. Bit of a shame that we don't actually get that with the Ant-Man mask but not to worry again really like the texturing on the suit I think that looks really really cool it's a shame he only comes with the two hands as well we don't get any extra hands like open palm hands you know to kind of pose him in a running pose we just get kind of like the grabbing hand and the fisted hand which is a bit of a shame but still not to worry but yeah overall I think he looks really really cool the red and the silver you know quite like those highlights on the on the trousers there that's quite a clean clean paint work so really happy with that seems to be the same on both sides again don't really see any paint bleed issues or anything like that looks really really good and then if we just give him a turn round let's see how he looks from behind so yeah again really really similar on the back nothing oh there's a bit of a paint yeah, there is some obviously smudge there on the on the left hand side. As you can see, the red kind of bleeding into the black. Didn't notice that the first time. That's a bit of a shame. But again, nothing too major really. You know, there's the Paul Rudd butt. Again, those silver lines on the, you know, kind of running down the side look really, really good. So I do like them. Yeah, I think he's think he looks pretty cool to be honest with you. Again, in, in my opinion, not the best Marvel legend by any means necessary, but still one that I think has to be had for the collection, especially if you're collecting all the MCU characters, guys. Um, you know, so yeah, I am really happy with him overall. Do think he looks really, really good. Um, and yeah, like I say, happy to have him in the collection, really. And then I just thought I'd show you him up close with the Paul Rudd. Uh, head on there, so really really like that head sculpt guys, do think it really looks like him, I'm not sure if he does pull this face actually in the movie at all, uh, it wouldn't surprise me with some of the awesome faces that Paul Rudd can pull, been a great comedy actor, but yeah I, do, I like it, I do think it looks really really good, I do think they've captured his likeness really really well. Um, and I'm happy with it, and I know that the Evangeline Lilly uh, head sculpt from the Wasp figure looks really much, you know, very much like her as well. So really, really happy uh, with the work that Hasbro are doing on these face sculpts at the minute. So yeah, I think it looks like him. You guys let me know in the comments below whether you agree, whether you disagree, but I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm, I think he looks cool. And for scaling purposes, I've actually got him posed next to the Marvel Legends War Machine from the recent Avengers Endgame wave. Again, he does look smaller than War Machine, which is exactly screen accurate. That's how he should look. I mean, with that, he's Ant-Man, you know. Uh, I guess he should be smaller than everybody. Uh, but yeah, really, really happy with how those two scale together. I think they look really, really good. Um, you know, 
really really good to post at all the MCU legends all the Avengers together guys uh, and like I say I think he scales well and he should if he scales well with War Machine he should scale well with every single one of them so yeah really happy with that and then finally we've got him scaled next to the Mad Titan Thanos who we always use as the final scale of against all figures the SH figure arts Thanos again you, I don't know whether he's, that is right it probably is you know, he's smaller than Thanos, just like all the other figures. So, as I've said in many videos before, guys, if you do have the SH figure arts Thanos, your Marvel Legends will scale quite well, as he should always be bigger. Um, so, yeah, really, really happy with that as well, guys. think they look really, really good together, and they will scale well together on the shelf. So, let's finish off the video, go to the final shot, uh, and, yeah, wrap up the video for today for you. So there you have it guys, Ant-Man up close and personal, Scott Lang, again, really, really happy with the figure. Um, he's not the best Marvel legend I own by any means necessary, certainly not, I mean I don't own many, as you guys know that, that watch my videos, I mean any Marvel legend that I own, there is a couple that I do have that are still yet to open. Uh, but every figure that I get I will open on camera in front of you guys So if you've been up to date, if you've been keeping tabs on what I've actually been collecting and what I've been getting You do know that this is number four. So compared to the others um, I feel bad saying it. I mean he probably is the worst out of the set that I have But I am still really really happy with him. I love that mask. Love the suit. Love the texturing on the suit I think he looks really really good. Again a bit of a shame about this bit The eyes I really wish that you could see his eyes through the mask through the helmet but again, it is what it is, not to worry. And I do wish that it had come with a few more accessories as well, like some, maybe some different hands, maybe even, you know, Ant-Man at a smaller scale or something like that. So you could kind of pose them together as if he's kind of, you know, changing from big to small, that sort of stuff. But overall, like I say, really, really still happy with him. So... As always, guys, in the comments, let me know what you think to the figure, whether or not you're going to be getting the Ant-Man figure yourself, whether or not it's one that you're, you know, you're going to pass on, whether you're not too bothered, what you think of the head sculpt, all that sort of stuff, guys. Uh, we are on 77 subscribers now, so really, really appreciate the support. Again, keep pushing, guys. Really, really, you know, m massively appreciative of how, how fast we're actually growing the channel. Uh, to say I started it about six, seven weeks ago, and I think we started on 22 subscribers. To say that we're now on 76 is absolutely amazing. So cannot thank you guys enough for that. Really, really appreciate the support as always. But yeah, leave a comment, leave a like down below on the video. Let me know what you want to see moving forward. Uh, we do have some more toy hunts coming and we will have some more Marvel Legends. Uh, so stay tuned for those guys. Uh, really, really excited to get the rest of the stuff open that I have ready to be open. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments down below whether or not you like this video. Like, share, subscribe. And as always, guys, take it easy.